Hey everybody, it's James here. Uh, just a quick uh, follow-up video from the lamp build. Uh, I forgot to mention, I actually built this other little uh, lamp you can see on the screen right now. Uh, to be on the back of the shed, up behind the shear legs. Um, it's a relatively simple little project, uh, which I thought, uh, based on the fact that we had quite a good reaction from the original video on how to uh, scratch build yard lamps, I'd share some with you as well. Uh, so what we're looking at here, uh, well basically, I was looking at some photographs for inspiration and sort of, you know, prototype reference uh, and I found this picture of this lamp here at uh, Retford on the old GC uh, and I thought to myself that's ideal for what I'm looking for especially as it's actually sat uh, behind the shear legs there so uh, I thought I'd make my own so what's it made from and how is it done um, relatively simple the base of the lamp is actually made from the end of a paintbrush it's part of the handle what I'm doing is just chopped it down to the right length and obviously taken the tapered end which is roughly the right shape and we've drilled it out to mount the uh, LED lamp. The LED itself and the shade is a slightly modified Chinese um, made product. Uh, you get them in sort of packs of 10 or so on the internet and they're rather cheap to get hold of. And I found these on eBay. Uh, you can get them from uh, suppliers in the UK. Of course, people like Kites Lights uh, tend to have them uh, in stock at various exhibitions and through their own shop. So one to look for. So all we've done is uh, reshape it very slightly. Uh, mount it to the end of the uh, paintbrush handle. Uh, we've uh, added banding, uh, the same way I did for the uh, scratch build project recently uh, with the water column. That's uh, using bits of tape and paper glued into position. Uh, the whole thing is then painted, a single coat of primer as you can see here. And once that's been sorted, um, we give it a all over colour. Uh, I went with uh, a rail match, uh, it's just basically a a brown shade uh, which is again roughly right for the real thing and then the ladder's a, a brass etching I've had for a little while and that's basically it I mean there's nothing else really to it to need to explain but I just thought I'd share this one with you because a few of you out there have uh, been interested in the certain features I've been doing on the layout and I uh, thought you'd like that one as well so there you go all right I've waffled on enough I just want to say obviously thanks again for watching I hope you found this one of uh, interest or use and uh, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.